Hello everybody, welcome to Drawing with Waffles. Today I am drawing Woody and Bo Peep from Toy Story because I've always kind of liked them as a couple and when she wasn't in Toy Story 3, I was pretty upset and it took me a while to get over it, but I had finally like come to grips with the fact that, you know, she's gone, you know, toys get separated, that's just kind of like fact of life. With toys, they don't like stay together because, I don't know, things. <laughs> Life happens. But then when they announced Toy Story 4, I'm very skeptical of sequels. And I always have been. But I usually let Pixar get the benefit of the doubt. I'm like, I don't know yet. I'm going to give you a chance. I loved Monsters University, even though I was very skeptical about that one going into it. It wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still very, very good for, like, a sequel. So when they announced Toy Story 4, ugh, I, I got a little bit nervous because I didn't know what it was going to be about, for one. And then two... I thought Toy Story 3 really ended the series, and it was just perfect, you know? Like, the toys moved on, they got new, they got a new owner who was just as fun as Andy, maybe even more so. So I was a little, I got really nervous. And then they announced what it was going to be about, and it's going to be about Woody trying to find Bo Peep. And, like, at first I was like, that seems like a really lame idea. But it's very, very vague, so I'm sure there'll be a lot more to it, and it'll be a lot more substantial. But, and then I got to thinking, and then I was... I was like, I really love Bo Peep, and that was one of the parts that annoyed me about Toy Story 3. It was probably the only thing that I didn't like about Toy Story 3 was that Bo Peep was gone. So when that was announced, I started warming up to the idea, because as I was like, I was already over it, and now I'm like, bringing it back. I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. He doesn't have Bo Peep. <laughs> and so now I'm kind of excited. I'm still nervous, because I'm always nervous about sequels, because who was saying this? Oh, the guy that writes Doctor Who now. I was watching, like, a Comic-Con panel, and he was talking about how when you were younger, you know, you'd watch a movie, and you're like, that was good, but now when now you know about a movie, it's coming out, and you're nervous about it, and you're like, well, instead of thinking, oh, I hope this is good, I'm, you're thinking, well, I hope they don't screw it up too much, and that's totally what's going on right now, and so I'm like, Ugh, I hope it's good, I really hope it's good. I have a few ideas about, like, what might happen, and I'm like... I think they'd be pretty funny because it was like, what if like the toys all go on like Craigslist and they're trying to find Bo Peep, but they keep like, they find a couple Bo Peeps, you know, because she's like a lamp, so they'd be selling the set, and so they're like trying to find Bo Peep, and then they like, well, they probably do find a couple, and every time they go, they like have to go on adventures to go find the Bo Peep, but it's always the wrong Bo Peep, which I thought would be kind of funny, but I bet I bet they'll have a much better idea. So yeah, I started thinking about it. I'm like, yeah, this could be a really good idea once you start thinking about it. So I'm kind of excited. Anyway, I'm not really talking about the drawing. <laughs> I'm just, like, obsessing over childhood. Okay, so, it's good, it's good, it's good. Anyway, I had this idea for, to, well, to draw Woody and Bo Peep, but, um, like, I wanted Bo Peep to have Woody's hat, because that's, like, his, like, characteristic, and then I wanted, uh, Woody to have her, what, it's a shepherd's staff? Is that what it's called? Because she, she has sheep? I don't know. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I wanted them each to have their own, like, the other one's item, because symbolizing that they're an item. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Does that make sense? Anyway, yeah, uh, I wanted him using the staff and, like, pulling her towards to give him a little kiss. And then she had, she was, like, keeping the hat away, so he was using the staff to get her closer. And so she's still trying to hold the hat at, like, arm's length, but his arms are longer. So that's not going to work out too well. Anyway, I think the idea turned out pretty cute. I do like it. And I also, before I started this, I drew a bunch of sketches in my sketchbook of them just because they are, they're one of my favorite couples from, like, Pixar movies that and I also really like um Mr. and Mrs. Incredible <laughs> they're perfect anyway um yeah so I drew a bunch of them I actually shared one of the little pictures on Instagram and people seem to really like it I almost went with that pose but I decided to go with this one just because I thought it was more um dynamic and like what's the word for something that's like moving a lot it's like motion there's a lot more motion to it it sounds like I'm saying emotion but there's not that much emotion it's more motion is that the word you use? I don't know. Anyway, if you want to see that picture that was really, really cute, it's over on my Instagram. Links are in the description, as always. Um, yeah, I drew it, like, really tiny, like, with the tip of my pen, and I think it turned out pretty cute. I love drawing little tiny pictures because I feel like they're just more expressive. That's the word, expressive. They're just more expressive. Like, you can draw smaller and be more expressive, and you're not worried about detail, so you spend more time thinking about, like, what I want it to look like instead of, like, oh, that has to have, like, three buttons on that shirt and the hair has to have, like, 91,000 strands. But you don't worry about that when you draw really tiny. So I definitely suggest that. It's a lot of fun. And it's kind of why I usually start small. Like, when I do draw sketches or anything on the computer, I always start smaller and then blow it up later when I go to add the second sketch layer. And that works really well just keeping... I lost the word again. 
expression. It's expression. That's the word, right? I think so. Anyway, I think I'm working on the third sketch layer, actually, which is kind of funny to say. <laughs> this drawing, like, because there's so many characters, well, there's two characters in it. <laughs> because there's two characters in it, and because, you know, like I said, it's very expressive, it's harder to get right, so it took me a couple sketch layers to try and get it to the where I wanted it, and then at that point, I kind of didn't want to do another sketch layer or line art layer, which is very similar, because at that point, you're sort of, like, tracing your drawing and making it better and better and better as you slowly nitpick. So I ended up just shading that the way it was, just with like a very sepia, is that the word? Sepia tone? It's very brown. <laughs> so I do like the way it turned out because they're kind of like an old-fashioned couple, you know? He's like a sheriff and she's Bo Peep, so I, don't know. I thought it fit pretty well. I didn't end up coloring it. I really did want to color it going in because I love her pink dress with the white, or the white dress with the pink polka dots, but it just didn't work out and I... Yeah, I still like the way it turned out though, so it's not a big deal. It's cool. It's cool. Um, it took me a while to get Woody's face right because he has a very unique face, and I still don't think I made it long enough. Like he has a much longer face, and he has these like really predominant cheekbones, like Benedict Cumberbatch and uh, Tom Hiddleston. And then he has this like pointy like um, kind of nose. With it. I call it like a a ski ramp nose because it's like perfect. <laughs> So you could, like, ski right down the nose. It'd be perfect. Yeah, so once I, like, started paying attention to what he looked like, I could start adding some little details to make him look more like Woody. And that really did help. So I'm glad that I did that. And why is it frozen? Oh. I guess it's going now. I don't know if that happened in the video, but it was frozen in my... Yeah. Anyway, I'm adding his uh, cute little cowboy boots with his spurs and his little uh, cactus... Cacti. Cacti on the boot. And it took me a little while to get that, um, the staff right, because it's supposed to be straight and then it curves at the end. <clears throat> and it still, still isn't quite right. I wanted it to look like he's, like, it's sort of facing towards us and then the, um, the far end is actually, like, behind them a little bit. I don't know if that came across quite right, mostly because Woody's hand wasn't working out, but I'd already drawn it, like, six times. So I was like, I think I'll leave it. And since it is just sort of, like, a fun sketch... You know, I'm not going to worry too much about everything. Just, you know, let what's important show through. And that's definitely what I did. So yeah, I'm just adding little patterns to his uh, vest. And just cleaning up, like, the sketch layer. Because originally it was only going to be a sketch layer. But now it's kind of, like, acting as the line art. So I decided to just clean it up a little bit. And now I've started shading it. Fun fact, I actually shaded this off camera. And then I really liked the way it turned out. Because I was, like, kind of frustrated and didn't want to do the line art. So I turned off my... Uh, camera and then I started uh, shading it just for fun while watching Legally Blonde and then um, I really liked the way it turned out so then I decided to delete that layer and restart but on camera and I'm glad that I did because it, I think it turned out really cute I just like the way it looks it's very old-fashioned and I don't know I think it's just very very cute and I'm happy with it I'm definitely happy with it and that doesn't happen very often so when you're happy with something as an artist you should you know learn to appreciate it Oh, and that's the finished illustration. I don't know why I'm zoomed in because it's so sketchy and it's not very fun to look at. But here you go from bottom to top. And there's your cute little faces. <clears throat> I love them. They're such a cute couple. Uh, let me know if you're excited for Toy Story 4 or if you're nervous like me. And I'll see you guys all next week with another drawing video or something. I don't know. <laughs> Have a delicious evening, fellow waffles. Bye.